Bridge Tool is a precision grinding company. Um, we've been in this business for um, 30 some years now uh, and really have a lot of expertise and history in manually grinding tungsten carbide. Our grinding operations go all the way from uh, uh, rotary grinding or um, uh, Blanchard grinding, uh, centerless grinding, ID grinding, OD grinding, uh, and also hand polishing. We have several operations like that, and of course, we also do CNC uh, milling, turning uh, to support you know the you know cased carbide is where we turn the steel to actually cased carbide and then finish grinding. Several of our guys here are um, been with me for the last. 30 years and we had a tremendous amount of experience all with manual grinding. We um, train, try to hire new expertise, um, you know, um, and expand upon the technology that we have in house here and it becomes very, very difficult. And so, you know, we get to a, a capacity problem very, very quickly. That's why we started looking to some new technology and, and Studer was one of, the, one of the companies we looked at at first. And, you know, they, they really stood apart. You know, they actually designed software around a grinder. You know, you look at the software and a guy with 30 years experience but never looked at software says, oh, I like that. That's that's the way I think uh, as far as the grinder goes. And they put it into technology. Now. Yeah, the, the other advantage with the Studer is that um, I have a B axis, which it gives me the capability to rotate my part at the same time I'm grinding. Uh, that's, that's a huge game changer with the Studer that allows us to grind a radius on a part uh, uh, with, with a precision that we can never do manually. Um, basically, we're trying to file it, grind it, grind angles, blend angles. Uh, we can actually grind that radius right to a part print. Bringing in new technology like, like, this, uh, like the Studer uh, CT960 that we, we purchased is um, there was a very, uh, manual grinding is a very personal, um, you know, hands-on uh, feel for what the machine is doing. Um, all that, all that experience going to, into new technology, um, like with the Studer, was equating that experience in terms of numbers. Uh, we had to uh, uh, actually, you know, translate, you know, uh, feeds and speeds that we just knew mentally or we could see, we could hear, um, into uh, translating that into a numbers, into a program. From a quality point of view, we can be much more consistent. You know, we can, uh, we can once we have a, a good program, a good uh, feeds and speeds on, on different size uh, parts, we can uh, have repeatability that um, we can never duplicate in, in, in manual grinding. The consistency, um, along with quality, is, 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 is huge because I can uh, actually push out more parts, push more parts through this machine and, be the, and, and have that consistency and quality. During and through each cycle of the grinding operation, we can actually probe the part. We have a probe that will actually go in and measure the diameter, uh, uh, adjust for wheel wear uh, and where, you know, what part sizes and just uh, literally go right back in and, and grind the part to size um, without really stopping measuring or anything. The operator doesn't have to do anything, just has to, just have to program it to tell it to do it. Uh, we, can grind, we can grind an OD, a face, and an ID without ever moving the part out of the truck. Uh, huge savings uh, in time. Uh, we can go from, a, you know, a switching from spindle to spindle uh, with a rough wheel, finish, you know, a semi-rough wheel or a finished wheel and having those all available to us, uh, all within the program, with just you know, flawlessly going from one wheel to another. Now, it's, it's a huge savings in time when you really add it up. So, you know, we, you know, we'd like to push forward. We'd like to add, add uh, additional grinders, uh, maybe even different grinders, OD grinders, uh, very specific to OD grinding versus ID grinding. Um, you know, we'd like to continue down this path and, and build a, uh, a shop that um, we're all certainly proud of and I think the world will want to do business with us.